Hey guys, today I wanted to show a quick little concept that I came up with for puddles in Minecraft. And this is pretty much just water that's a little bit deeper than the ground level, and it makes splashy sounds and particles when you step in it. And it's pretty simple to make. And I also include a schematic that you can just import into a world and you can make these puddles for yourself. So this concept starts off with an objective called Puddle, which is a dummy objective, and we also have Walk, which is stat.walk one centimeter. If you guys didn't know already, you can stand on top of boats, and that's how this works. So we have boats riding on top of wither skulls, which are slightly below the water, and that means that you don't get the slow down effect when you're in the water. Um, I'll just show what I mean by that. So, if you had water like this normally, and it was there was fences or something, you'd still get the slow walking effect like this. But since we have the boats, you're not actually touching the water, even though it looks like you are, and you can still walk around on top like normal. The rest of this concept pretty much just involves this fill clock, and it does a lot of things, and one of the most important is that it summons falling sand, and you can change whatever block you want the puddle to be, but I have stone for this example. So when we turn on the fill clock, it summons falling sand at, at the boat, and it looks like there's a very thin layer of water, and that's what makes it look very nice. Also, if you're near a boat, you will get this um, puddle score of 1, and if you have been walking and you're near the boat, you'll get a particle, and you'll also get the sound. It goes backwards, but you get the idea. Um, also, at the end of the tick, you'll set your walk score back to 0, and your puddle score back to 0. So if you're walking and you're near a boat, you'll get this sound and the particles. And also, I have two set block commands which are being executed at the boat which set um, the, the top block to water and the bottom block to glass and the reason why you need the glass on the bottom is so that the falling sand doesn't appear as completely black and that's pretty much everything you need to know and you can pretty much create these puddles and to make them you pretty much just need this command and you can paste it wherever you want there to be a puddle. So works really simply. You can set it up very easily and it's really cool. So you can see it's extremely simple to set up. You just need to paste the command around wherever you want there to be a puddle. And you can use this anywhere you want. So thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said, the schematic is in the description, so if you want to put these puddles in your world, um, you can do that. It's very simple to set up, you can just add the scoreboards with those, and you start the fill clock, and you can use this command to put the puddles where you want there to be puddles. And I think this would be pretty cool in all kinds of maps of pretty much any kind. Um, it's just pretty much for looks. And I thought it was really cool, so I wanted to share it. And thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you next time.